Let's discuss about the product. Our product is analysis and design of a low voltage low power double tail comparator. The need of the ultra low power area reduction and high speed analog to digital converter that is ADC is pushing towards the use of dynamic regenerative comparators to maximize speed, power efficiency and area efficiency. Here an analysis on the delay time delay of the dynamic comparator will be presented and analytical expressions are derived. From the analytical expressions, designers can often an introduction about the main contributors to the comparator delay and fully explore the trade of the dynamic comparator design. Comparator is one of the fundamental building blocks in most ADC. Many high speed ADCs such as class ADC require high speed low power comparators with small chip area. High speed comparators in ultra deep sub 4 micrometer that is UDSM CMOS technology suffers from low voltage supply especially when considering the fact that threshold voltage of the device have not been scaled at the same pace as the supply voltage of the modern CMOS process. Hence, designing high speed comparators is more challenging when the supply voltage is smaller. In other words, in a given technology, to achieve high speed logic transistors are required to compensate the reduction of supply voltage. A new comparator, that is in our proposed method, we have proposed a new dynamic comparator is presented, which does not require booster voltage of or stacking of too many transistors. That means it produces less efficiency and less area efficiency and more power efficiency. Namely, by adding a few minimum size transistors to the conventional double tail dynamic comparator, latch delay time is profoundly reduced and we are getting a promising result. This modification also results in considerable power saving when compared to the conventional dynamic comparator and double tail comparator. Many techniques such as the boost, boosting method techniques employing body driven transistors, current mode transmission, and those using dual access processes can handle higher supply voltages have been developed to meet the low voltage design challenges. Boosting and bootstrapping are two techniques based on an argumentation the supply, reference or slack voltage to address input range and switching problems. The disadvantage on the other hand is the fact due to several stacked transistors with sufficient high supply voltages needed for a proper delay time in existing design. Another important drawback of this picture is that there is only one current for your tail transistor. That's what we are going for a double tail transistor. In our proposed transistor, we are having two tails. So the design we are having two supply tails. Due to better performance of the double tail architecture in low voltage applications, the proposed comparator is designed based on the double tail structure. The main idea of the proposed comparator is to increase the efficiency and to reduce the area efficiency. And we are obtaining the latch addressing speed. The operation of the proposed comparator is giving promising results. So finally by the proposed method we have received a leak. We have measured the leakage power estimated area and number of transistors, supply voltage. Let's see the architecture design of our proposed double tail comparator. Our comparator design is performed in Tanato because our comparator design is based on CMOS technology. Basically for CMOS technology design comparator especially for comparator design in CMOS technology, the Tanner tool will give us better results. So the CMOS circuit is designed in Tanner. Um, this, before that, we are designing the architecture of normal comparator. That a normal comparator design is modified to double tail. That means we have to design the com comparator for two power supplies. That means each one supply is 
connector with each tail. So by we are having two tail and two supply voltages. The purpose of comparator is comparing of the input. When we are giving two input, it will compare the two input and finally it will identify the output which is highest output. So regarding to two input, it identifies the highest output and which provides the highest output as our result. So among the two inputs, that means we apply the two supply voltages. So among the two supply voltages, the comparator identifies the highest supply voltage and the highest supply voltage is produced as our output of our comparator. So the comparator produces the output. Finally, we are getting the comparator result. So by the comparator result, we are analyzing the performance of the comparator through the speed and throughput gain and the delay time, power consumption. In lot of such ways, we are dis discussing and consuming about the product. Tool is called the Tanner tool. In Tanner tool, basically, it has lot of the lot of sub devices. That means we are having SID, WD, LED. Like this, we are having separated layout design for double uh, waveform designs and for circuit designs. So similarly, we are having separate lines for design of separate parameters. So our schema design is performed in SED. So our performed design produces the output in WED. That is space. That means we can export the code of the designed circuit in T space. So we can open the code in T space and we can modify it as, uh, as our requirement. So we are using among them we are using SID for the circuit design, TAD for the extra modification and WAD for the output design and analysis of the output waveforms. So this is the tool we are using for us here. By clicking this we can we can start a new project. So to start every new project we have to open a new cell. So by clicking the cell we can design a new circuit design. So in the cell we can consist lot of we can include lot of libraries which consist of a transistor, beam of transistor, resistor capacitance such as general devices. So after we designing we have to set the setup simulation. After that we have to save the file and we have to execute it. So if we executed the circuit correct circuit correct in correct manner we can get the output in WAD. 